So g'day and good morning guys from the beautiful Kathmandu here in Nepal. Today I have a very special video for you today. We are going on a local hike. It's just on the outskirts of Kathmandu city centre. I'll be leaving the link in the description, but I'm with some local friends today. We've just ridden our motorbikes up to here and we've stopped at a cafe and then after this we'll get the hike started. So come along with me today as we experience some crazy local experiences and adventures and I also believe that there's a waterfall at the end of the hike too. So yeah, it should be fun. We're also, um, this cafe here has a cute little dog just here and um, we're right on the waterfall as well. So I'll show you guys that, but yeah, let's get this day started. I am, except the fact that what they just said, we didn't bring any raincoats, yeah. no umbrellas, it might rain, so... So it's meant to rain today, we missed the memo to bring raincoats and umbrellas, but that's alright. It's not like we haven't walked around in the rain before. Alright, Bob's clearly not in the mood to vlog this morning. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we just got to the ticket office. It's a thousand rupees each for me and Bob. Everyone else is a hundred rupees. But we're facing a bit of a problem. They want me and Bob to have a guide, even though we're with locals. So these guys are trying to work around it. So hopefully we can do that. But yeah, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I wish I could shape shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wish we could just turn Nepali like that, but I mean we're kind of used to doing this sort of thing in Australia So I don't see why we need a guide. Yeah, and especially the fact that we're with like five or six other people who have been here before Exactly, like you know, we don't mind just trying to fork yeah, as much we, money. We don't mind paying the 1,000 rupees even though it's annoying, but you know We don't really want a guide like you know anyway, we'll sort it out. So we just went through security got our bags checked Now we're starting the hike so it turns out it's actually an hour's hike there and back sorry an hour hike there hour hike back um so yeah let's um let's go somebody that i used to know from my younger enemy all right so i've just been told that we got to watch out for leeches really common here so i've got long socks on but even still got to watch out for that um i know to get them off you can light it like light them and they just come off but so far we're only like two minutes into the war and check this out I don't wanna fight no more or okay bro so we're about three minutes in <laughs> you, you look tired <laughs> no I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> I was just running around getting shots, but how long is this hike going to take and like what are we expected to see? So as you just witnessed, there was a small waterfall around there. Yep. So there are plenty of waterfalls ahead. Uh, this piece is called Vishnu Dwar. Uh -huh. And so it'll probably take us around one, one and a half hour from here. Cool. At this piece. Yep. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place. And cool. So, there are around three waterfalls around there. Uh -huh. Today we'll just be going to two. Yep. Main beauty around there is so it's the main point, starting point of a river called uh, Bisnumati River. Okay. So it's considered that's the place where it all starts. Yep. So it has both like aesthetically, it's really nice. Uh huh. Plus it has its like own Hinduism values as well. Oh wow, so cool. There's a temple out there. Yep. So sweet in Nepal, you can get temples everywhere, right? Sweet, cool. <laughs> okay, so temples, waterfalls, hikes. What more could you ask for? Plus Let's the go. greenery. Yes, plus the greenery. It's poisonous. minutes in and I'm like 
a little bit puffed out. I don't know if that's just because we're just starting and the adrenaline hasn't kicked in yet, but it's got me worried because we're about to do a big five day track. And I'm taking you guys along with me for that. So hopefully my fitness and adrenaline starts to kick in soon. Okay, so we've all made it up here. But these slow pokes, <laughs> come on guys. <laughs> you would think that the locals would be fitter than me and Bob. <laughs> There's like this shiny, like crystal corpse in like all the rocks up here. I'm not too sure what it is. If you know, if you're an expert in rocks by any chance, let me know in the comments. It looks like corpse, but in Australia, corpse is not that shiny. So, oh shit, nearly slipped. <laughs> nearly slipped then. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Okay. Now's probably a good time while we're on this nice flat part of the track to talk about two things. Number one, what I like about Nepal. Number two, what I don't like so much. So let's start off with what I like. What I love is the hospitality here from the people. The people here are so welcoming, so lovely. The English level here is really high, so it's really easy for travelers to sort stuff out. As well, the food is really, really delicious. And also, there's always something going on. So, like, no matter where you look, there's something interesting to see and to do. And it's really affordable as well. The prices here are really, really affordable. Some things I don't like is probably the few, the, there's about three or four different scams that happen in the main tourist areas of Kathmandu in Nepal, but that's only like the one place that you'll find all of that. And then I guess another thing would be sometimes the Wi-Fi here is really spotty, goes out, comes on. And for me being a content creator, it's really hard and annoying when that happens. And also, it's hard to get a unlimited data plan here on your phone. Because normally in some countries, they'll just hotspot my computer. But yeah, it's not that easy here. I only have one and a half gigs per day. But other than that, this country is pretty amazing. So yeah, it's, um, it's blown away my expectations, that's for sure. As always, I guess, there's always pros and cons to every country you visit. So, it's not like that there's a country that has all pros and no cons. So, everywhere's different, but I think sometimes it's important to talk about that and share it with you guys so you guys can know when you come here as well. Alright, so i got to try and cross this without getting my feet wet. Let's do it. Whoa. Oh, got it. <laughs> wow, so there's like a whole river coming down the uh, coming down the path here. Oh my gosh, that's cool. I love how this is just a one hour hike preparation for our massive eight hour hike for five days in a row. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to do it to be honest. I was able to leave my big bag at one of my friends, so... I'll have a lighter carry pack, but man, it's not going to be easy. Some of the trees here are so massive, so old as well. Like some of these trees would be 50, 60, 70 years old. They're growing all this green moss on them. It is so just picturesque and beautiful. I feel like I'm in a video game or something. It's just so nice here. There's no rubbish around or anything like that. <sighs> Nepal. I love you. One thing I wanted to talk about as well. In Nepal, people, even the youth, are not on their phones that much. It's so refreshing. That was the first time on this hike and this morning that they've all pulled out their phones just to take a video of that waterfall. I find that on my travels so far, every country I've been to except for Nepal has really high social media addiction. 
to the point where it's like bad like i feel like it's rude sometimes like i've been into shops and the shop owner can't look at you because they're scrolling through tiktok but coming here you it's like you go back in time 10 years like you're walking down the street and no one's on their phone but if anyone is they're actually calling people like it was 10 years ago so it's so fascinating and so refreshing and i've even found myself to be off my phone less because people are other people are off their phone less so it's like this domino effect but in saying that check out this view how cool is that and i think this is only the beginning once we get further up it's going to be even more beautiful i also want to take this point while i'm speaking to um just thank you guys for the support um by the time i upload this video we'll probably at, be at 7,000 subscribers and i just can't thank you enough um i started this journey in february hoping that i'll reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and by the looks of it we're on route to do that as i said from the beginning of this journey i said i'm in it for the long run and you know i've started to make a little bit of money now but it'd be nice if i could make more to try and continue this but we should be right so i just want to say thank you so much thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for sharing just thank you for being part of this journey because yeah i'm just so glad i can take you along with me and share you this world and give you inspiration it's it's honestly it's the perfect job so thank you i have lunch soon so guys jack tall here we just reached uh one of the highest points my uh, assistant here bobby is changing the battery as we speak but look at this view on the background got under your skin we are about to go off this cliff here <laughs> like no joking we're about to scale down here to get to this waterfall uh oh <laughs> oh this is so dangerous <laughs> it's like this the angle is like basically drops man Check this one out. All right, we've got a bit of an issue here. Dude, your blood must be pretty sweet. Yep. So yeah, leeches. That's a common problem here. So we're just trying to find some um, hand sanitizer which has alcohol in it. Hopefully the leech will like come off or maybe we can get a lighter as well. All right, let's see. Oh, let's try it. So as you can see, these pipes here, they actually collect the water from the stream and run it to different little houses and villages on this mountain. I learned that from when I was in Manali, India, they had the same thing and the water is always constantly running. So that's really, really interesting. It's just an easy way to grab it, but it'd be so cool seeing someone actually set that up for the first time because they got to run it down the stream. So it'd be quite a dangerous job and you get really wet in the process. So I've just been informed that we're going up these rocks here and this wood here we got to walk along. Alright, this is probably one of the most craziest things I've ever done. Alright, so now we all got to take our shoes off because we got to walk through here oh my gosh we have a bit of a problem <laughs> Yeah, 
It's good. The rock is really, the rock is really grippy. So if it wasn't grippy, it would be sliding all over the place. Thank God. Okay, so we made it. Oh my gosh. There's this little shrine here that I just want to show you guys. It's really, really cool. It's like a shrine in a little cave. They've even got a bell here too. You've got all the Tibetan flags as well, all the all the prayer flags. Now we got to cross this sketchy bridge just here. So come with me. Please hold my hand virtually so I don't die. Wait, how, how do I cross this? Not that middle bit though. What about that? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There you go. I tell you what, this is what a true adventure is about. <laughs> Scaling up streams and waterfalls. Man, oh man. Everyone is having so much fun. So after an hour and a half of trekking, we finally got there. Let's go for a swim. so much for coming on this amazing adventure with me i hope you enjoyed it um you know just exploring nepal Kathmandu, here in the mountains waterfalls crazy adventures so as always thank you for being right beside me today if you've got up to this point in the video thank you so much and as always keep it real cheers okay.